We're even not even the KKK have the listen, right to march listen. down a street. The guy giving us the tongue lashing is Dean Schoenwald. You're, repl you're responsible for this. Find my replacement. They care about you, Ron. Really? They care about the ratings. They don't give a good god about you. We found him on the side of an Oklahoma highway escorting this disabled veteran. More on that later. But first, why is he begging for money on street corners? As of last week, you I, were panhandling yeah, we, in we, Oklahoma City. What I was saying was to answer the question, right. we could not be prouder. Schoenwald says he's raising awareness and cash for suicide prevention. All the charity Are you had in your own pockets. No. Yeah, and we don't raise very much. And no, I have nothing. He admits he uses the donations for printing costs and to pay people to solicit more donations. Money many donors thought was going towards suicide prevention. Some of them homeless people were happy to, to let them distribute, distribute the 35 warning signs. He hasn't given us any of the donations that he's raised in our name. Anna Fullington oversees the call center at Heartline, Oklahoma, the leading suicide prevention outreach program in the state. She says her office has been inundated with calls about Schoenwald. None of our fundraising efforts include panhandling or curbside efforts or approaching a vehicle on the road um, for dollars. Schoenwald offers no apologies. Back in 2009, he was accused of doing the same thing in Philadelphia. I mean, because some say it's just going into your pocket. Some say. I, I love some say. Paying girls to drum up donations. We're preventing teen suicide. We also produce... Uh, 30 minute assemblies for the schools. Give me one school you've been to and you've done an assembly on suicide prevention. One, just one. Okay, we've only done one and I'm not sure exactly which one that is. You've but only we've only done one. Well, wait, can I finish? One. Schoenwald says he left the East Coast following Hurricane Sandy. We know before he landed in Oklahoma, he was an Atlantic City TV weatherman and mascot for a number of professional sports teams. He even tried buying the Oklahoma City Cavalry basketball team. Then there's the time he staged this controversial protest on Flag like Day. Russia. Listen, they think that it, you should be jailed for burning a flag. Now he says he's sticking up for veterans like Ron Karcher, who had no idea about the flag burning protest until we told him. I would say he's not very patriotic. Which brings us back to Schoenwald's latest fundraising endeavor. He says he's raising money and awareness for veterans by pushing Karcher halfway across the country to Washington, D.C. And we don't raise very much. There's a lot Schoenwald kept secret from the veteran, like his four protective orders and convictions. One of your protection orders, you pleaded guilty to violating that protective order. Wow, I, I'm glad this is about me. You've also been convicted of breaking and entering. Yeah, I pleaded to a lot of things. And then a bombshell we never saw coming. While we were recording, this happened a lot. And I'd like to give you that to help you on your journey. Oh, wow, thank Take you. My prayers. Thank you very much. And stay blessed, okay? Thank now you. the shocking part. These strangers had no idea they were shaking hands with a convicted sex offender. That's right. The veteran in the wheelchair, Ron Karcher, has served hard time for raping a child. Schoenwald claims it came as a shock to him, too. Right after our interview, they called off their trip to D.C. Last check, the two went their separate ways and are back living in the Oklahoma City area. Schoenwald never could provide us with proof of where the money is actually going. The In Your Corner bottom line, trust your instincts and do your research before donating to any charity. I'm Scott Hines, in your corner.